Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ministry of Biscuits. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create your very own delicious Biscuiteers chocolate biscuits. Chocolate is one of our customers' favorite flavors and we bake thousands of biscuits with this very recipe every day. We use just the right balance of cocoa and sweetness for that perfect Moorish bake. For today's ingredients, you will need 375 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of self-raising flour, 170 grams of caster sugar, 170 grams of golden syrup, 170 grams of salted butter, one large egg, and then 100 grams of 100% cocoa powder. The other equipment you will need is a baking tray and parchment paper, a sieve, a spoon and knife, a fork, your cutters and a rolling pin, and then a stand mixer, or you could mix this by hand. We're going to start by placing our caster sugar, golden syrup, butter and egg into our mixing bowl. I'm going to use a stand mixer to combine all my ingredients, but you could mix them by hand at home. Then place your mixer onto your stand mix and start on a slow speed to combine your ingredients. I'm now going to remove the mix from the stand and sift in both my flours and our cocoa powder. By sifting your flour, you're ensuring you have a lovely smooth dough. Now we're ready to place our bowl back in the mixer and I'm going to start on the slower speed again just to combine these ingredients together. I've now placed our bowl back on the stand mixer and I'm going to set it just on the lowest speed to combine those flours and the cocoa powder. At this point I'd really recommend you pop a tea towel just over the top or your stand mixer may have its own guard. When you see that your dough has started to come together you can then increase the speed for about 30 seconds and you're looking for all of that dough to be in one large lump and come away cleanly from the outside of your bowl. To make rolling the dough a little more manageable, I'm just going to cut this in half. Instead of adding any more flour to the surface, I'm going to use parchment paper. Place one on the bottom and a second one on top. By using the parchment paper, it will stop your dough from sticking to your rolling pin. It will also avoid adding a floury taste to your biscuits. Instead of rolling straight away, I'm going to take my rolling pin and just flatten the dough slightly, just making it a little bit more easier to use. You can see I'm pressing down on the dough to create a disc-like shape. And now I'm ready to roll. We'd say the best thickness for your dough is 5mm. If you're new to baking, you can purchase rolling pins that come with built-in guides. This will help you ensure an even thickness. When you're happy with the thickness of your dough, set one sheet to the side and then you can do exactly the same with your second piece of dough. When you've finished rolling both sheets of dough, place them into your fridge for at least 30 minutes. By chilling your dough, it will make it much easier to cut out your biscuits and also will stop them from spreading when you bake them in the oven. After your dough has chilled, you're ready to cut some shapes. Today I'll be using a biscuit cutter. I have a beautiful flower shape, but you can also cut your shapes by hand using parchment paper to create a template and then just using a knife to gently cut out your shapes. Finally, it's time to bake. Set your oven for 170 degrees and the timer for 20 minutes. Keep an eye on them as you may need to add a few minutes to get that perfect bake. And here we have our delicious chocolate biscuits. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to learn how to decorate your biscuits like a biscuitier, we've linked some of our classic icing recipes in the description below. 
Alternatively, you can head over to Instagram for lots more of our designs for inspiration. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give us a like and a subscribe and leave a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks again. See you soon. Happy Biscuiteering.